All right, a pencil and paper. So last week in the meeting, we talked about to change your life, you needed to change. You needed to change something that you're doing in your life. So I said that today matters. What you do today matters in what's going on. And I asked you, I encouraged you to pick one thing one thing that you could change or do. Maybe it's the, the food that you eat. Maybe it was role play and practice. Maybe it was learning one script. Maybe, like for me, it's making sure that I work out at a little higher level for 200 minutes. Uh, which, uh, just as a side note, I'm, this, this vision, this goal of 200 minutes has really helped me to focus in and get it done. Because yesterday, I was short 45 minutes, and I would have blown it off in a heartbeat. I would have not done more than 30 minutes for sure. But because I had to do the 200 minutes, which didn't seem like an overwhelming goal, I ended up doing that. And you feel a little better about yourself. You achieve the goal. It's kind of a, a good thing for you. You know, maybe some of you took on, I'll prospect, I really will prospect this week three hours a day, or I'll really prospect my two hours a day. Or I think the big favorite out here is I'm going to eat two desserts less today. <laughs> that was the big favorite out there. Or I'm not going to eat that extra Snickers bar. All right? So it's, it's, Oh, some of you came to me and you said, this was on Thursday and Friday, said, you know, Neil, I show up at a lot of sales meetings. I see it on the web. But that one last week where you asked me to pick just one item, just one item really cranked it up for me. It helped me focus. It helped me get it done. And, you know, I just, I have to uh, applaud you for that. What I'd like to do, because this is my nature, is write this down. Let's crank it up a little bit. <laughs> All right? Let's just crank it up just a little bit. And I want you to write this down. We need to create a November to remember. A, a November to remember. All right? What if? Just what if we had this amazing month where we did these things, whatever they were for you, and they really slingshot and catapulted your business? So I wrote this down. Here's a question. What if, what if you actually talked to 840 people in the month of November? Write that down. 840 people, and you talk to them about real estate specifically. 840 people. Let me ask you a question. Would you generate some business by doing that? You really feel that by talking to 840 people, you would generate some listings and some sales? Yes or no? Say yes. yes. All right. So write this down. How many listings would you generate? Talk to 840 people. Some could be expired. Some could be for sale by owners. Some could be past client and sphere. Some could be just listed and just sold. But 840 different people in the month of November. How many listings could you take? Kamal, what do you think? One, two, six. I like that. Good job. All right? Freddie, never to be outdone by your brother. <laughs> 17. Good job, Freddie. <laughs> so, so write down, write down how many listings you're going to take. 800, I'm going to talk to 840 people, and I'm going to take this many listings. And then write down how many sales you're going to make. 
How many buyer transactions and seller transactions can you generate from talking to 840 people in November? Put a dollar amount on that. Let's say that each transaction was worth gross to the company $10,000. Okay, just easy math. Just easy math. Let's say it's worth $10,000. So if you made two sales, it's 20 grand. Freddie gets 17 listings and half of them sell. That's another $90,000. Good job, Freddie. All right. You get where I'm going with this? Would that be a November to remember? And all you had to do was start today to talk to 840 people. So let's try to, let's try to break this down, because that's, that's what we talked about earlier. Let's chunk this down so that it doesn't feel overwhelming, because 840 contacts could be kind of overwhelming. But here, listen to this. November has 19 work days when you take Thanksgiving off. So write that down. 19 work days when you take Thanksgiving off. 21 work days if you work two Saturdays. So we're going to push it up a little bit. So we're going to work 21 work days. So we're going to take off just Thanksgiving, two Saturdays, and all four Sundays, or however you want to move that around. 21 work days. Now we're going to do four hours of prospecting per work day. Doesn't matter what you've done in the past. That's what we're going to do in November. Four hours per work day. 21 work days, four hours is 84 hours of prospecting. 84 hours of prospecting, and the average agent hits between 8 and 12 contacts per hour. So let's use 10 for easy math. There's your 840 contacts. Now I'm going to make it even a little bit easier. Did you know in November there are five Blitz Tuesdays? Five Blitz Tuesdays where we preset this for you. Think about this. You come in at 8.30 in the morning. You role play from 8.30 to 9 o'clock with a group of agents that are like-minded people. You prospect from 9 in the morning till 7 o'clock at night. We throw in another hour of advanced script class from 1 to 2. And we even buy you lunch. Yeah. You like that? Good job. Five Tuesdays at eight hours a Tuesday is 40 hours. Almost half of your prospecting for the month of November in five work days, ladies and gentlemen. Five work days. Well, almost half of the work will be done in those five work days. So, how do I continue to make this a November to remember. So I wrote down here, what if I called all my past clients and sphere of influence in the month of November? What if I call every single one of them and told them about all the great things happening in the marketplace? Interest rates below 4%. Fixed interest rates below 4%. Lots of inventory out there great opportunities and prices still at half of what they were four or five years ago. Tremendous opportunities out there. Tremendous opportunities. What if I called all the leads I have? What if I called all the leads I have? So you've generated leads over the last three or four months, right? Say yes. yes. <laughs> have you called every single one of them back? Hmm. Call every single one of them and ask them for an appointment this month of November. Ask them for an appointment. Ask them, 
show them property, ask them to list the house. If you're embarrassed that it's been two or three months since you called them, you said you were going to call them back the next day, you didn't do that. I know that wouldn't happen to anybody in this room, okay? But you didn't do that, then here's my suggestion. Take those leads you're embarrassed to call back on and give them to somebody else in the office who's embarrassed to call their leads and you'll just trade leads, okay? So I'm embarrassed to call the 12 leads I have, was supposed to call back. You have 12 leads, we'll just trade them and we'll call those leads and we'll call them as cold leads or we'll call them as I heard leads. I heard you were considering. I'd like to uh, offer my services. I wrote down here, what if you held two open houses this month? What if you held two open houses this month? It's not the highest and best use of your time. If you're out doing what you're supposed to be doing Monday through Friday, hitting your numbers, I don't think you need to hold an open house. Unfortunately, most real estate agents do, don't do all the things that they're supposed to do when they're supposed to do it. Present company accepted. But if this does apply to somebody, hold a couple of open houses in the month of November. I, I wrote down a question here. If you did that, 840 contacts, couple of open houses, called your past client in sphere, called your leads, how many good leads do you think you might generate? How many good leads do you think you might generate? Two, three, five, seven? Write the number down right now. Write it down. Write it down. Connie, how many number how many did you write down? Ten. Ten. Good. Okay. How many did you write down? Sorry? Fifteen, good. Lisa? Twenty. Twenty? Good. Fernando? Twenty. Twenty? Good. Twenty good leads. Now what I want you to do is through the month of November, I want you guys converting those leads because prospecting is lead generating. Following up is appointment setting. How many appointments could you generate from the leads that you generated? Does this make sense, you guys? Are you asleep? Hello? Yes, yes. yes you're asleep? <laughs> so here's the question. How many contracts, if I did this, if I committed to doing this November to remember, how many contracts could I get signed in the month of November? Write that down. How many contracts could I get signed in the month of November? How many contracts could I get signed? Hey, you know what? I just thought of something right now. Here's the deal. Take a business card and write on it the number of contracts you think you will get signed. Listings and sales in the month of November. Everybody with me? You turn those in to Frank, Bill, or I. Today, at this sales meeting, doesn't go any further. All right? At the end of November, we'll hold on to the cards. At the end of November, those of you that did the number of contracts you commit to, and let me tell you something, don't give me one contract when I know you're a three or four contract or five or six contract person, okay? Because I'm going to up it with you looking you in the face right now, okay? But be honest, be sincere, and then what we'll do is we'll pick out three winners, okay? The first one will get 200 bucks, the second one will get 100 bucks, and the third one will get 50 bucks, okay? Somebody write that down because I, I don't have it here. All right? 200, 150. <laughs> but I need your cards, and I need you to be honest. And I need you to want to go after it. So not only can you win prizes from the, from the contest from your efforts over the month of November, not only can you earn money from the commissions that you'll earn, I'll even sweeten the pot and we'll give you a few hundred bucks. 
just for signing up. Tim. Is sign contracts is that? Sign contracts, Tim, is sign contracts. Okay. <laughs> Buy a rep contract? No. Okay. Not, so thank you. you, you, buy, you and you can sign. sign the contract with DocuSign. Okay. Okay. Fine, okay. No, no, no. Sign listing. Thank you, Tim. Sign listing, sign sales contract. Doesn't have to close. I just want a signed listing. And if I find too many moms and dads <laughs> listing with their kids, we're going to talk. <laughs> How many contracts could I get signed? So I wrote this down. Draw a line. 